hey guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here so today finally we're doing the shot my stash i think it's been three nearly four weeks at this point <clears throat> there's gonna be a slight difference um in the fact that i'm doing a course from monday so i'm not really gonna be pulling too much color out i think i'm gonna keep this one in I've used it a couple of times but not on camera and I can use those kind of shades at the weekend for during the week I want to pull neutrals in which isn't like me at all so I think what we're going to do normally we start off on the drawers I think we're going to start off on this top section here so I don't have to worry too much about this because they're all project pans so shall we just start with palettes I think we've got no we've got more than five because we've got my blanking one as well. Right, so we've got this beautiful, beautiful Revolution Lion King Jungle Princess palette, which looks like that. It's absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed using it. So, especially these greens, because green and this kind of greeny yellow here are definitely my jam. I really loved using that so that can go back in the collection that's going nowhere this avocado toast I'm kind of on the fence about putting it back right so this avocado toast I'm kind of on the fence about putting it back now just because it does have a lot of it like neutral browns and it doesn't act like these here would make good looks for you in the week yeah I'm gonna keep that one in I'm going to also keep this one in. So the mattes are Colourpop and then the shimmers are Pastel Roses. So we'll keep that in as well. And the rest can go back. Really, really enjoyed using the Equaliser Volume 2 by Sample Beauty. So all these videos you're probably going to see in the next couple of weeks. But look at that palette it is absolutely a stunner love these oranges in particular and then these more like greeny shades over here it's absolutely beautiful I'm gonna be talking let me just pick this up I'm gonna be talking more about the palettes at the end of August so that's that I for sure thought I would be passing this on but I really did enjoy using it so I so started to see these guys called bingo palette friday or something like that or palette bingo friday i can't remember what i named it but that's going to go up before this does um because this video will be going up on saturday so this is shop my stash saturday uh, so you're going to get two videos in the space of two days which normally i only film monday wednesdays and fridays but that's what that palette looks like it is absolutely stunning my, my issue really is more with the top row here like i don't like this shade this metamorphosis because it barely shows up oh and then there's this moon glade here which barely shows up but i think i used it the last couple of days i think i like the other shades um so yeah it's gonna stay in the collection and this isn't going anywhere. It's one of my favourite palettes in my collection. Look at that packaging though, guys. Absolutely stunning. Just so, so pretty. Um, so they can go in my eyeshadow palettes to be talked about at the end of the month. Let's pop these away for a second. Right, so then we've got these. I've really been enjoying I've really been enjoying using these liners. I got them from Amazon and they're a steal guys. It's six ninety nine and you get six. So it's practically a pound a liner. Um and for the most part the the pastels I've done a short on this, it's on the channel. So for the most part they are pastels. So I need to show them to you. So obviously I'm not going to do swatches because I've already done swatches on the short. If you want to go and check that out, it is on my shorts. I do always put in the card section my short videos. Oh, where's the top for this? They will stay in all summer long. Really, really like them. Project Pan, all that. I think I'm going to keep these in. I've not used them. So we've got the Dealer 
I think it's white, yeah, little white lies in the shade yellow tails. Shall I do some swatches? Yeah, keep that one in. And then we've got this Lottie London. It looks like it's had so much use. I think it's on the verge of drying up, guys, um, because that wasn't like that when I pulled it in. But this is gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's drying up. Let's get a wipe, because I'm sure I'll be doing lots of swatches for you. In the last shot my stash I had a couple of people asking me to do swatches, especially when it came to palettes. But the thing is, with most palettes, I've either done a short on them or um, I've done a video on them. But I will do at least a couple of swatches on each palette um, for you, now that I know that you want to see them. So, this one is staying in them because I absolutely love it. I'm going to be doing a favourites video and that for sure will feature my favourites. It's So it's Essence Hydro Hero Under Eye Stick and Deeply Hydrating and Caring and it really is. Um, so these, for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, I do absolutely love it. But I want to keep whatever's remaining because there isn't much remaining in it. Um, and I want to get the e.l.f. one eventually. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I want to keep it for that. So we'll put that away. And also this collection, Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish. It's not my favourite, guys. Um, it's certainly not anything like this. It's got thicker consistency, which I don't really like. But I don't want to declutter it either. I didn't like the fact that barely any of it came out with the stopper so I just pulled the stopper out and now it's kind of gone all gunky but I don't mind I would rather a bit too much came out than not enough so I just kind of swirl it around the side which is a little bit gross and then um, I just put it on the face and it gives me a much better glow than I was getting previously to that so they're going back we've got some powders up here is anything going back from here no, because that's Project Pan and that's unofficial Project Pan and then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer there so none of, none of that's going back. Um, this is Project Pan as well, this Glossier Future Dew so that's not going back either. We're down to here now guys so it's nearly gone. Um, we've got my foundations. So... I've been using those foundations for the last three weeks. I got fed up, guys, to be honest. Only having two foundations in does seem a lot. And for two weeks, it's fine. But for three weeks, virgin four weeks, it's not enough for me. But I absolutely love both of these. I guess you'd call them tints. This one is definitely a tinted um, foundation. And this one is a weightless foundation. So both of them can go back. And I also have been using my project pan a couple of times as well just to give me a bit of a break from them too um, I also bought another one of these from collection it's the Incredi Brow just because I really really do like them it's a brow primer not sure if you guys use brow primers but I really really do like them and that will be getting open soon I think that's everything there's some brow products on top here as well brushes um yeah that's definitely everything so we're going into the drawers now guys what i'll do is i'll just pull you down and before we go into the drawers what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all this away and we're going to pull things out as we need them i'm going to try and do that style of filming the shot my stash and see if it goes any quicker because i mean an hour long shot my stash guys it's just too much I know you guys like watching longer videos, but it's a pain in the ass to film. Let's bring you back. I think I need a bit more light on as well. Do I? Yeah, just a bit. Okay, so then. Right, I'm going to put the two foundations back. Um, these will go in this section here with all my tints. I think for the summer months I'm just going to pull tints out so 
there is that and then we've got these two here um, so these are like glowy products so I will be putting these just with my glowy products here can you see they uh, just here I think you can just about see that um, and then I think that's it for now so we're going to close this drawer guys and we're going to bring out this top drawer and can you see that should we zoom in a bit okay powders right so we've got the elf sheer tint finishing powder it's not really in project pan guys but look how well i've done on this i should really put it in a project um so that can go back the number seven what's it called translucent perfect light loose powder can go back really really enjoy that um these two things here so i've got my lip scrub and my soap brow by jason Wu. their project pan this glitter glue is just gonna stay until it's finished so officially i guess it's project pan um this i absolutely love guys i love this more than my elf one so this is the 17 second skin enhancing concealer i'm gonna put it back though um, because I want to try and use this e.l.f. one up. I do want to buy a backup of that 17 one. That's how good it is. Um, and then this other e.l.f. one I'm using as a base. As an eyeshadow base. So that one can stay in as well. And then this Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser is a brightener. So that stays in as well. And then we've got this Charlotte Tilbury Lippy and I use this as a cream blush although I've not used it as a cream blush in a long time but that's what I do normally. Right so that's that drawer done with and then the bottom drawer. I don't know what's going back but this one isn't going back. This Patrick Tar duo that I've got, absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite blushes in my collection at the moment. Um, so this one is Do We Know Her? They all like I want to keep this Tower 28 one out as well. This orange Beach Please Golden Hour. So they're for sure going to be kept out. This Elf Putty Blush. I've got kind of mixed opinions on it. So this one is in the shade Bahamas. Right, so that's what it looks like. Right, so I used it a few days ago and I don't know whether it was because of the heat it got really soft and it was really nice and creamy. And now it's gone back to, to the more stiffer formula. Can you see? It's Actually, it's, it's more creamy than it was when I first got it. But it's a really nice orange. But I think I like the newer ones that they brought out, the more glowy ones. So I don't think I'll get any more of these ones. Um, but yeah, not, I'm not 100% sure on it, but it's going back into the collection anyway. This um, Flower Beauty one can go back into the collection as well. It's Peach Primrose. I don't think I'm pulling much powder blushes because... I know there's two for sure that I want to pull, and they're both new. But well, I've got some powder blushes in here that I keep forgetting about. And they're more on the pinky side. So I feel like that for this course that I'm going on would be a lot better than kind of darker blushes. And then we've got some Colourpop singles here as well. I just need to get a couple more Colourpop singles out of my collection. Um, but yeah, we're going to be leaving that in. And I don't know what I think about those Deck of Scarlet blushes so i just want to get an overall opinion on it this bronzer can go back it's the Too faced bronze peach toasted peach that can go back this steeler convertible color can go back in the shade petunia love love this they do an orange one i'm gonna have to look into getting that one as well um this milani one she is pigmented she's so bright but she's gorgeous these look pretty much the same, so we've got Coral Crush in Milani. And this one's really creamy. I'm going to swatch her a couple of times. And then let's swatch Petunia next to it. I think Petunia is more pink. More pink and more balmy. 
yeah, that's the difference. So that's Coral Crush, I think it was, and that's Petunia. Um, this Moira, I have used it a couple of times in this go around, so that one can go back. Um, I'm going to put this one back because I'm bringing out a glowy orange blush so I don't need that as well. But it'll probably come back out again soon. Really, really enjoy that one as well. Guys, I don't know how I feel about this. It's not that glowy. If you're a person that don't like glowing from the gods and you like a subtle highlighter, you'll love it. But I'm not that person. Um, but I do... I do like it, you know. I do like Jessica Rabbit and... Um, I'm glad I've got it for the collection, but I don't know if I actually like the product inside. Really, really like this one though. She is super cute. Um, so this one is the I Heart Revolution Hot Chocolate Highlighter. I hope Revolution do small packaging like this this year. Um, so that's that. Let's turn the... I'm going to just do you a quick swatch. So that's it there. It's quite a sheer highlighter and it's definitely got like glitter particles in it. But when it goes on the skin guys it is so stinking pretty and so sheer. Well not sheer, sheer is the wrong word but can you see that glow there? It's really really nice. That can go back. And also love my Ofra Madison Miller in the shade Moon Dance. Absolutely stunning. It's one of our best highlighters. This. And that's that one. Look at both those highlighters. Stunning. Seems like we're getting through this quick. Not necessarily a bad thing, right? So we've got this sleek. Turn it up a bit. So we've got this sleek trio, so this one is in the shade light. I've been using this a couple of times as well and I still want to keep it around the collection. This blush here is gorgeous. Look at that blush guys. Um, yeah and everything else is really really nice as well so we'll definitely keep that. This guys though. Um, I think I might keep it in for another go around. Absolutely love this. And I feel like these highlighters are really nice for summer. I think I did this in the last rotation. So I'm not going to swatch them on the hand. On the hand. Stunning. Oh, I'm actually keeping that one in, Anna. Unless I can find something else that I want to bring out more. Right, so now we've got a couple of palettes. We've got the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie. Love this bronzer. I only pulled it out for the bronzer. Didn't use any of this. And then we've got the Too Faced Eggnog Latte. And I used this Peach Cobbler shade, I think, once. Um, it's too similar to the blushes that I'm going to be using by Deck of Scarlet. So I'm not going to keep that in. If it wasn't, I would keep it in. But I think what I'm going to keep in is this. I've not used it enough, guys, to give an overall opinion. It's the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright Cream Blush. And it's in the shade H. So we haven't really got much in considering, so we'll put that there. And these bases here, I don't know how I feel about these, guys. I've not used them this go around. I feel like they'll look good with this palette here. And that's why I pulled them originally. So I do want to use them so we've got a lilac one here we've got a yellow one here and we've got like a mint green one here and I was saying that they seem so runny I'm really really tempted to get some of the P. Louise ones because Steph from Not Your Basic Steph is always using the P. Louise ones and she seems like she really likes them um, but I do want to use these up before I even buy any more bases and I don't want to declutter them so that's that so I'm glad I looked at the camera then it just shut off it's not been that long since I used the Fenty Beauty butter so what I'm going to do because this one has a really nice glow to it and I think it would look nice on the under eye I'm going to use this so it's a translucent loose finishing powder doesn't say it's a glowy one but it is like I don't know if you can see it and it blurs as well so it might help with my under eyes 
but also I've also not used that in a hot minute and would that look good as an under eye yeah let's put nude by nature back and let's use that I actually forgot I own this and I wanted it for so long and that's not cheap it's £27 right so what have we got now then so we've got powders okay so we're gonna need a tint but I really really like this one it's the Catrice True Skin Foundation um, it's a hydrating one I definitely want to use that one um, and then from this section here we'll pull a tint what have we got I feel like doing this one, I've not used it in ages. It's a bit dark though, so I feel like I'm going to have to pull a lighter foundation. Something like this to go with it. So we'll pull these 17 Glow Is Everything CC Cream. And that can go underneath or with this Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. Um, it's medium to full coverage and it's got an SPF of 15. And this one... It doesn't say it's got any SPF on it. So that's the three foundations I want to work with this go around. Do I want to pull a primer in? Mm. It's just, I've got this one. I've got this Glossier Future Dew. Um, so I don't know if I want to pull a primer in. What else have we got in this? They're all glowy. In this weather I really should have something matte. Yeah, they're all glowy, so not, nothing from that then. We'll just work on the primers that I've got in the collection. Um, and that's it for this drawer, guys. So we're going to go over to the main collection now. This is Project Pants, so I can go back on there. Um, yeah, let's go over to the main collection. Before I get to my makeup collection, I thought we'd just put these away first. So... I'm going to tilt you up again and hopefully you zoom in and you'll be able to see me put them away. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go to the collection now. Honestly guys, this needs sorting out and quick smart. Right, so this is all my cream blushes but the overflow from my powder blushes comes here i put these two here in furnace because then i want to use them this fortnight um but there's just no room for anything i need to go through my blush collection and kind of declutter it's getting to the point with highlighters but it's not as bad and bronzer i do only have this small crate as well and that's getting beyond a joke so this is what we're looking like we've got a couple of palettes back there as well so i just wanted to show you close up before i put you back on the tripod of what it looks like because i have reorganized it cream blushes used to be further back and powder blushes used to be here but because we're in summer i'm using kind of more of cream blush and cream blush is my preference so that's why i've done that um but yeah let's put you back on the tripod now Right, so we're going to start on blushes first. So Karen sent me the beautiful Benefit Butterfly blush this week. I've wanted this for so long, ever since it was first released. In fact, Karen actually showed it to me. I'm going to just put you forward a little bit. Karen actually showed it to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope they release it in travel size. They never did. They released all the other blushes but this. Um, so that one's coming. Um... And then I got this one for myself, really for the packaging, because it's absolutely stunning, stunning packaging. Um, and I'm not talking about the outer carton, so it's from Auden's Eye. This one is in Peach Claim. And I heard that there was two of them that was really glowy. This one, I would say, is more satin. Um, so that's that one. I think Lisa um, from Benny Penning and Beyond put me onto these. I only got one, but I think Lisa's got a couple of these or a few of these in her collection. Uh, 
but yeah this is the only one that appealed to me and that was a really glowy one so I think I'll get the other really glowy one in time but again these aren't the cheapest blushes like for me for my blushes I tend to spend like between five and eight pound on a blush and even then I'm like with the um revolution one that one was eight pound I'm like eight pound for a blush um but right so I think that's it actually I want to pull this can't cope with coral out that Karen also sent to me last year um, I've been standing it upright because if you don't stand them upright they leak and um, I've been thinking about getting a couple of the orange toned ones so I want to I want to see what the formula is like I mean I've used it before but not an awful lot I don't think I'm going to pull any powder blushes out because we've already pulled two out anyway um, creams what do I have? I've even forgotten what I just pulled well I've got that made by Mitchell one and I've got the Tower 20A and also the um, Patrick Tower one I feel like I want to pull a couple more out but I just don't know can't remember what right so where's that other I feel like there these Barry M ones sorry, these Barry M ones would look really nice with those powder deck of scarlet blushes I already had out so let's pull them and then let's pull this super dewy one out in fake the flush that's it I could keep pulling cream blushes out but I'm not going to do I want highlighters or do I want a highlighter palette sided what palettes are in here none of them let me go down I'm just gonna put you down to this second I don't know if you can see that um, well you can see the majority of it mm, I don't really have that many great highlighter palettes I don't think I mean this is a new one I want it in Shab's giveaway I don't think I want to pull that these are like blushes and highlighters at the back, the ones I've made up myself. I want to pull this to do that fast five minute kind of look for when I'm on the course. So it's got bronzer, highlighter, blusher and eyeshadows but I want to pull some singles with that as well. So we're going to pull that. I honestly don't think there's any just highlighter palettes. Well there's this one. I don't think I want that. Oh, my Dior. Let's pull that. I bet Naomi's screaming at the camera saying, Andrea, you've got the Dior. Um, so that's beautiful. But I do think I still want a couple of um, singles as well. Do I have anything else? No, I don't need any other singles, do I? Because I've got that sleek one. So, right, so that's highlighted done with. So, I got this. You know, I was said earlier how I love the concealer I got. I have tried it as bronzer and it didn't look half bad. So, that was my intention get it as a bronzer. So, they're only £2, guys. If it doesn't work out, nothing lost. If it does work out, we've got a Holy Grail cream bronzer. So, I'm going to pull this out but I want to pull tan lines out as well um, in case that one doesn't work absolutely adore this ride or die six pound cream bronzer I mean they're not the biggest you can tell I love it just by the dip I wish the blushes were as emollient and creamy as this because it's absolutely gorgeous I don't know, everyone's got their own opinions, but to me, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy a backup of it when I run out of that. And then I'll need a powder. I don't know whether to work on this. This is Project Pan. I don't know, because I've not used it really. I've used it once. I think I might just work on this. 
and also I've got the one in the Charlotte Tilbury palette yeah let's just do that for this rotation um I feel like this shot my stash is going to be boring guys for you um but it's just the fact that I'm going on a course and it's kind of minimum makeup right so we've done blushes we've done highlighters we've done bronzers we've got a couple of palettes so now it's just eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and then we're done right so i'm going to try and keep you on the tripod the main eyeshadow palettes i think are coming from high end so just over here um so what i want to do is bring a few in um, just so not to make it boring so probably for the next two weeks guys I probably won't be doing that many looks on camera I think at the weekends I will but like Monday to Friday I'll be on this course and all my efforts have to be on that I'm sure you understand you know life gets in the way but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna photograph my looks and I'll put them on Instagram so you'll see them um, but yeah let's get into it what I want to do is I want to bring this one in I don't feel like I've had enough time with it and I want to show you the kind of look that I want to do with that I can do a really nice pretty day appropriate eyeshadow look with it was there anything else from here I'm not too sure that there was right I definitely wanted to pull another Sigma one it's on the chopping block so I definitely wanted to pull that one as well do a couple of looks with that I did think about this one the soft glam I'm not too sure about it it has some gorgeous gorgeous shades that are work appropriate let me show you I mean at this point we all know what that looks like but um, I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna go down that route yet I might do I haven't fully decided let's close that drawer I know one for sure I'm not gonna take you down there just purely because Oh yeah, there was two palettes actually. So, there's this Morphe one. Um, so this one is Vintage Rose. So there's that one, which I've never used and I want to try and use a little bit more. But do I need it if I'm going to be doing... They're so, so similar. Watch this, guys. They're so, so similar. Can you see that? No. Let me try and move you down so you can see it. And you still can't see it, but they are so, so similar. I've zoomed you in as much as I can. Um, really, really similar, in fact. Which one do I want to use the most? I think Sigma Rose, it, just because I've had this one the longest. And we'll put Morphe away until next time. Right, so definitely this one. This one is more a... need to zoom you out. Right, so definitely this one. This one's more of a weekend palette. So this is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. I mean, you can definitely get some more neutral looks with the golds. And even this green. And even this green here would give you a neutral look. Um, yeah, you could definitely do that. But I think it's more, because it's colourful, it's more for the weekend. And with this palette, I will be using it on camera. I'll be doing three days, three looks, or at least two days, two looks. Um, so that's that. So we've got four there. But obviously, I won't be using them all the time. I think the best bet for this past couple of weeks, or at least for this week, until I know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know whether this is going to be um a weekly shot my stash rotation or a bi-weekly i think it might be bi-weekly but i feel like it's better to pull singles that will work with palettes so we've got a couple of palettes there that we could definitely pull singles for i could even pull this one this is really really pretty for summer and very work appropriate with the peaches yeah let's do that Right, that's it for palettes, guys, because it's getting to the point of... What have we got in here? Leave that there. Right, um, so singles. I had a few yesterday that I was going through and swatching. And I really like the look of, so... I'm going to pull this anyway. Maybe I'll do a nice weekend look. Um, so I want to use that and also, sorry, 
just thought of another palette that it would go so pretty with is this one so them two are going hand in hand together so that Urban Decay single that was also a gift of Karen thank you again Karen so what I want to pull is this Charlotte Tilbury to go with a Charlotte Tilbury palette I will do swatches and all this but just when I'm at the desk um, and this one is in the shade Bet. it is so so nice I've had it years guys and it still stayed really really creamy some people have said oh but they dry up really really fast well mine hasn't and I've had it years um, this Lottie London one because although it's a neutral where's a wipe as I was saying because although it's a neutral um, it's really really foiled so I want to pull that then we've got this Essence Melted Chrome which is really really nice and would look nice with the um, Rosy Palette by Sigma and this one is Zinc About You a lot of these I just want to get opinions on whether I want to keep them as well I might pull this in as a base so this is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in oh, After Party oh there is this one as well this Too Faced one it says Too Faced Couture, I've never seen these, I don't know if this is fake or what but it's a really really nice shade, just wait until you see the pigment on it it will blow you away um, and then, I think that's it guys I'm literally pulling most singles I've got right, so that's it for that but there was a couple of colour pop ones I wanted out of this drawer so this one in the shade copper feel this really nice cream ivory shade and where's my brown one gone oh I think that dried up so we can't use that um, but this one is kind of in a project and I just want to use it up and um, so that is everything there and then it's just lipsticks but we'll put all this away first and then we'll go on to lipsticks so I always say guys it doesn't feel as long this time but I said that last time and it was like an hour and 20 minutes and it's like yeah it's pretty long drop that eyeshadow right so we'll start with the Urban Decay Naked then like I said we all know what it looks like it's absolutely beautiful got beautiful golden tones in it so I was thinking this one and this one maybe even this one with that single that Karen got for me I mean these are beautiful and creamy and then we'll do the swatch of the single let's put that away because we've done them swatches the single is in the shade after party it's got that same kind of yellow no sorry the single is in the shade overdraft so it's got that same um, it's got that same yellow mustard to it look at that guys and I've swatched it already, it's super pigmented now I think they would make a beautiful look and I could even get away with this as a work palette I'm going to keep that in there and where we're going to keep this single, I think on the top keep that there right, Fenty Beauty, that's the palette up next we'll do a couple of swatches of these, my favourite ones so that's definitely a favourite, I really like that that one and that one look at those guys so we'll swatch these down here, this shade here would even go with those mattes there I feel like I've pulled a really good selection this go around they are so similar um, so let's get rid of that and this one I've got a little palette holder just here so I'm going to put that with them because it will get lost over there then the one I'm looking forward to using the most Cosmic Brushes Serenity it's got some beautiful beautiful shades in it I've already done a short on this so what we're swatching Wanderer Odyssey um, Ether and opal 
Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that green. And that gold. And that purple. And that shifty white. Beautiful. Okay, and then the next one is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette, the first one. It's called um, Diamond of the First Water, I believe. I just want to get to know this a little bit better. I do absolutely love it. So I thought about mixing that one with that one, and I did this last night, and it looked so, so nice. I mean, look how sparkly that is. Don't think the camera will be doing it justice. So that's the like pinky red by itself and then watch so nice and also I really like this shade down here that's a really nice work appropriate shade look at that it's like a rose toned one I wonder what that kind of blue silver shifty shade would look like over that just by itself yeah it just gives it a little bit of glitter which would also look really really nice so what I'm gonna do put that in there actually no put that there not there and then we've got a rosy one so the Sigma Rosy I'm not a lover of this one, but I think it will work out really well with the rosy tone singles I pulled. When I went on a date last September, I stuck to kind of like here, and then I deepened it out with, I think, that shade and that shade, and I didn't like it, but I got so many compliments on it. Not by the date, by somewhere we went out to eat. I mean, those shimmers are barely even showing up. I mean, they show up, they're just, in my opinion, lacklustre. Yeah, so we're going to use it, and I'll probably decide whether I want to keep or declutter it. Would not surprise me if I decluttered it, especially as I'm keeping the Sigma Enchanted, and that's got rosy tones in it. I don't need both palettes. So, then we've got this other palette, the Charlotte Tilbury one, which I've had for so long now. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, this shade here isn't the best, it's just kind of like an inner corner highlight but I think that's really nice as a crease shade and then this is a brightener shade and then we've got bronzer, highlighter and blushers so it's really good for like if I'm running late. I mean the course that I'm doing luckily is a work from home course and the hours are 10 till 4 so I mean it's I shouldn't really be rushing at that time, I should be up. So this one is really, really great if you want that quick makeup look. So yeah, I'm glad I've pulled that one out and I want to see if it's still good basically because I've had it for so long. Hmm, that one can go there. Okay, and then we've just got all these little bits and pieces. I never pull singles out. So let's put the blushes away first. Let's do some swatches of these blushes, bronzers, bronzer's boring but like to swatch bronzer is boring but I will swatch them. Right so that's all the blush and then I don't think there's enough here for two weeks but what I could do rather than doing another shot my stash in a week's time what I could do is just pull out more products and um let you know how I've gone with the products that I pulled. Um, the blushes, like the this blush from Odin's Eye and the butterfly blush, I feel like I'll be using for the two weeks. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Again, it's in peach gleam. It's a beautiful orange blush, that though. Do you feel like it's more satin? That's not matte. Which is, which is good for me because I don't really like a matte blush. I love the Patrick Tar one because you've got the cream in it as well. And I do want to try one of his matte blushes. 
but what I'll do is if I get the matte blush I'll do what it suggests so you put the blush on first and then you put the cream over it and it gives it that glowy effect that's what I like and that's what I've started doing with my powders mixing them with the cream blush and I do really like that look but yeah I mean I don't like I wouldn't just like put a matte blush on my face with no cream I don't think or no glow um, but this one I feel like this one's going to be my favourite for a while just because it was on my wish list for a while I don't know why I didn't buy it and I know I keep bitching about the money and it is expensive but if you really want something I mean I paid £36 for this so why I wouldn't pay £27 for that I don't know oh that's gorgeous look at that I wonder what some of that would look like over the Odin's eye. Oh my gosh, them two together. Yes. Right, let's pull the drawer out. Okay, so. Right, I'm going to swatch some highlighter. Naomi mixes all four of these. I'm going to have to try that this time. Um, that can go there. Oh, look at them. So here. I mean, they're not the most pigmented, are they? But mixed, they might be. Gotta do lipsticks yet. Um, right, so we've got this Super Dewy Revolution Fake the Flush, and I want more of these as well, because the formula of these gives you that glowy look. I've got two. I've got this one and one by The Simpsons. This one's much better. I don't like the colour of the... Um, I think it's called Daydream. Um, yeah, so I don't like the colour of that. I think it's for deeper skin. I don't think it's for someone as pale as me. So that's that one. I um, really like that. I'll pull that there actually. Then we've got Made by Mitchell Blush. This one I'm gonna stand up though because I don't want it to leak again. This one is it this one is can't cope with coral. Don't know how I feel about this shade either. I feel like his orange ones. Oh actually it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. So that can go there. Oh, Naomi's just sent me a message. If you're interested in brushes, guys, Refa is having a buy one, get one sale. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any. I've seen some made by Mitchell brushes on TikTok. So I might invest in those ones instead because, yeah, I've got a lot of brushes. I don't need more. Um, so the Fresh Face by Barry M. This one is Peach Glow. Oh, too much came out. These ones are so nice and so inexpensive. Can you get Barry M in the US, guys? I never know what brands you can get there and what brands you can't. Barry M are underrated in the UK. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Barry M or these blushes. And I've also got, I've also got this setting spray by the Fresh Face brand of Barry M, and I've used a quarter of it already. Um, and I think this was only six ninety nine. I prefer that one to the Flower Beauty one. This one stinks. Um, that one's the Seal the Deal one, the hydrating one. I don't think it gives me much hydration. This one gives me loads of hydration and just makes me look glowy. Um, so I wouldn't get the Flower Beauty one again. But saying that, I think Flower Beauty especially my super drug anyway let me know if you live in the UK um, in my super drug they've stopped selling it so I don't know about online I'll have to check online if they're still selling it but they was doing like buy one get one half price for a really really long time and now they've just stopped selling it so, so I think they're gonna stop selling flower beauty so the next shade is summer rose guys way too much on that as well that one's more pinky the other one i'd say is more coral really really glow with these i need to do a least favorite to favorite ranking my cream blushes but at the moment i've got that many new ones i wouldn't i wouldn't know where to rank them so i just need to 
kind of get use out of these this summer. Do prefer that one to the pink, I've got to admit. Um, so that's that. I've easily got enough product here for two weeks, I think. And then all we've got left is bronzer and then to choose lipsticks. Right, so this one is e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in Tan Lines. So emollient and it's like cream to powder. And I didn't think this would be a good shade for me. If it's a good shade for me and you're fair, guys, it's going to be a good shade for you. Especially if you're a cool undertone like me. So that's that. So we'll put that there. Um, and then th we've got this one. I think this might be a bit dark, really. It's a hell of a lot darker than that. But it did work when I put it on. My niece went, oh, are you going to use that all over your face? And I'm like, once it's blended in, it'll be all right. Trust the process. Like, can you see how much darker it is? It's got that red undertone to it. I have used it, though, guys, and it looked fine. But I do use it sparingly. So we're going to test that out as well. And then um, we'll see. I mean, if I don't like it, I'll just throw it out. It's at the end of the day it's like two pound. Right, so that's everything done there. We just need to get lipsticks. Right, so some of these are gonna stay in, especially as I'm I'm doing the course um and I need neutrals. This one can go back though. I have used it a couple of times, it's Primark um and it's a matte shade. It doesn't tell me what shade it is. I'm not going to swatch them because I swatched them last time. It's in the shade. Does it say? No, it just says Velvet Touch. And I think that's kind of the brand. I don't think it's the name for the lipstick. I want to keep this Revlon one in though. This is so, so nice. I don't think I swatched this. This is in the shade 014 Shameless. Um, and it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. The medium one that you can get I think it's called yeah I think it's called medium it's really really nice I want to keep that one in that's more of a darker nude um, pillow talk I think I'm gonna take pillow talk out and bring Mac velvet Teddy in still not 100% sure how I feel about that but there you go um well do I want to take this soft one out I really like this guys, look at that, yeah we'll keep that in. Right so this one is good for spring and summer, it's the YSL Volute in shade 06 but more for kind of the weekend rather than during the week. Right so those ones are going back. Um, this one can go back as well. It's another velvet matte. It's a really nice pinky nude. This one can go back. I've not used it, um, but I don't think I'm going to use it this rotation. These two can stay out. They're both Kylie. Not a lover of this one, but it's another good colour for the weekend. Um, if I go anywhere, I, so I do have plans to go out next Wednesday for dinner. I've got my CT scan at the hospital and, and then I'm going out for dinner with my mum after it. So I probably used one of these shades then. Um, so that's Kristen and that's Cherry on Top, I think. So I don't want to fill it up completely. I do want to leave this one in as well. This, this one is really, really good for summer. So this one's Christine Dior's, I think it's Rouge Blossom. Yeah, Rouge Blossom. Right, and then we'll just pull a couple of more out. Be two from my high end and two from drugstore. Definitely want Velvet Teddy, so where are you? And we will do swatches of these. Velvet Teddy, I'm sure you know what it looks like. It's iconic, isn't it? Oh my gosh, love that as an everyday nude. Do you all want creme, creme in your coffee as well? Oh, that's nice as well. Even those two together. What does that look like? Right, let's pull that. Didn't intend on doing this. Don't know whether to pull this Max Whirl. So 
dark brown that's more autumn isn't it like fall time yeah let's put that back then I think most of them are going to be neutrals I'm going to put this Mac Lady Danger oh guys after all that when I kept saying oh I don't know where it's come from I don't really want to put it on my lips if I don't know where it's come from I found out it came from Influencer so we're cool to put it on our lips they just didn't put a card in the box so how was I supposed to know um, so that's that one pretty in it yeah so that's good for light when I'm not working um, and then we've got these steelers which are so so nice especially this one here in patina let's pull that so I've not used this in my shop my stash for ages and it's so pretty so yeah we're gonna pull that and I think one only one guys drugstore and then it's all full I'm not expecting to use all these lipsticks I don't know they're all neutrals though well we've got one red two brighter shades there that's that's quite a nice shade it's like a rose pink yeah let's do that it's like a lip balm it's um tart ravishing lip surgeons so right that's everything guys oh this one needs to go back as well this more if you want and if i want a lip tin i've got this one i'll do a swatch of this while we're doing swatch roos so it looks like that it really is pretty so that's the shade but it goes into a really really nice lip tint like once you sheer it out yeah it's really nice so we've got that as well as backup but i mean we've got two four six eight 10 12 lipsticks there we've also got the huda 13 we've got a maybelline lip gloss that's 14 so we shouldn't really need 14 lipsticks in two weeks i mean i know that's like one a day but i don't often use a different shade each day so this morphe one is going back really enjoyed that one so okay and we're done guys i'm just going to give you an overview okay guys so on the top here let's go move closer palettes some more palettes project pan um eyeliners there lip gloss there brushes that need a clean um, so we've got my Meg by Mitchell blush there and a few other bits and pieces foundation some more foundation just here um, so that's pretty much it for the top section now if I didn't have this project pan here then I'd have more room but such is life and I feel like if it's there I'm going to use it this isn't project pan though this palette that's my Fenty Beauty one I thought I'd put it there just purely because I'll remember to use it and then the other palettes are just over here so we've got my Charlotte Tilbury Pat McGrath there's my blush palette there my Too Faced pan that palette back there and there's another revolution one at the back right so let's just sit down for a second drawers um, there's not that much in the top so it's mainly concealers there's that single eyeshadow powders at the back um, soap brow there, lip scrub, their project pan um, so it's mainly always this second drawer isn't it that's full but look at it guys compared to last shot my stash which I'll also put in the card section compared to that there's barely anything there is there not that's why I'm hoping the video is not going to be as long as it was last time anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great week ahead let me know what your thoughts are on this style of shop my stash do you like the fact that I put products away as I came to them like would you prefer me to do that going forward or would you prefer me to just do it all at the end I'd like to know your thoughts right guys so this is editing me so I've just finished editing the entire shot my stash it was an hour and 20 I've got it down to just under an hour and I forgot to swatch these so we're gonna swatch the single eyeshadows 
I'm pulling for this rotation as well. So let's just do this and then I can put this onto the video that I've already done and hopefully get it up by tonight. Right, okay, so we've got this Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade Bat. The eyes to mesmerise. I don't know if that's going to pick up. Probably not. Um, this is a really gorgeous shade. And I thought this would go really nice with that Charlotte Tilbury um, travel palette I pulled out. So that, um, especially like it would go nice with this shade here in the crease. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice like five minute look. And then you can also use that as a base. Um, kind of once it dries down, it doesn't really go anywhere, which is nice. So that's that one. Do with a cloth, really. Okay, another kind of bronzy shade is this one. I think this one is my favourite. And this one is so much cheaper. So I would say to you guys, if you said to me, which one should I get? It would definitely be this Lottie London one. So I'm just going to take it off the cap. I mean, look how foil that is. Yeah, it's just so much nicer than that one, in my opinion. But they're both pretty. This shade, sometimes I get carried away and don't tell the shades, is golden hour. Then we've got kind of like more rosy toned ones so we've got this really nice base by Milk um, this one is in the shade After Party and you seriously don't need a lot guys I've just put the tiniest amount on and it just gives you that nice wet look and that would look good underneath both these bases so we've got the Too Faced Couture in the shade Socialite. Is that going to come up? Probably. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. And I think that would look good with the rosy palette I pulled by Sigma. I mean, look how nice that is. That would look nice over that as well. Sorry. So that's that. And then these are so, so good. I wish Essence would bring them back. They're the Essence Melted Chrome. And this one is in the shade 01 Zinc About You. And they were so inexpensive, weren't they? And I'm glad I'm doing this course this week. Because it's giving me a chance to use my singles. Which I don't normally use. And then that's that. And then the last one is just this Colourpop one. Um, this is just a cream ivory shade in the shade Copperfield. And then that goes in with the other Colourpop ones I pulled out. I have already done swatches of that, but I'll do some more swatches. So we'll swatch all three. So they're the Colourpop ones. The Cream Ivy one isn't going to... We'll try and swatch it. No, you can't see it. So they're all the singles I'm going to be working with this next rotation. So for the next two weeks. don't think I'm going to be doing another Shop My Stash in a week's time. Oh, and also we've got these to use as well, guys. But I've already done swatches on these. Um, so yeah, we've got those. So I'm not short of singles to use, am I? I'm really, really looking forward to using all these products this go around. Looking forward to trying these, like, um, blushes out here as well. And then these highlighters here. Um, so I might try and do a get ready with me using my Shop My Stash products. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Because if I, I do still have videos lined up. Especially with the Serenity palette. But we'll see what I can do. I don't know where I'm going to put these now either. Right, let's put them in there. And then we'll put the singles here. Okay, that's good. 
Right guys, so that concludes the short my stash for sure this time. Thank you so much for watching this extra long video. It really does mean a lot. Please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.